We're back, everybody, and I have a glass of grape juice. I have water. I have grape juice. It's not as good as water. All right. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go into the Somnium that had Dante strangle the women, or one of the women. Yeah. Grape juice just tastes like medicine. I am not child. What happened in that somnium? Who knows, Date? We saw it too. The four murdered women are without a doubt the victims of the original Cyclops serial killings. That means... I killed one of them. Yugi. The murders Yugi. that occurred six years ago. Are these memory fragments that coalesced in this somnium? No. That means the person who killed them was... Yeah, that's us. Yeah, looking at it now, it's easy to tell it was us. Look at the jacket. In the reflection. Can you see it? Can you hear me? Oh. How did I kill him, though? I don't remember killing him. Peter, want to tell me what the hell that was all about? <laughs> about the original and new incidents. I don't believe there's any meaningful connection. Between the original and new Cyclops serial killings, I mean. Why is that? The culprit is not the same. I am absolutely certain the original Cyclops killer could not have committed these crimes. How can you be so sure? Because I can. Don't worry about it. Just trust me. Because I didn't kill those four women. I killed these other two. I mean, intuition. In the Somnium earlier, I saw someone else who might be the criminal. Who was he? I wouldn't know. Date, if you couldn't make out their figure, how the hell do you expect Pewter to? He sees exactly what you see. Remember what the boss said this morning. The original Cyclops killer has yet to be brought to justice. He's After the investigation now. got going, it was taken over by the government and classified. That was the last we heard anything about it. Of course, they paid lip service to the idea that the investigation was ongoing, but in reality, it was dropped completely. Well, that sounds great. Good government there. Yep. The Sinker does not always experience the Somnium they expect. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. When using the Sink machine for an investigation, we don't always see the memories we expect to see. True, oftentimes a subject will subconsciously want to express their dark secrets and repressed memories. That is why we see them so often in Somnia. And why those Somnia are so useful for criminal investigations. But this is not a guarantee. We cannot control the content of our dreams, after all. So why did he appear in her somnium, though? He didn't answer that. It's like I told you before. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. This can be expressed as an equation. Dream D equals memory A plus memory B plus memory C. This, of course, means that dream D is a fictional event. However, the same cannot necessarily be said about memory A, B, and C. This is not the Pythagorean theorem. happened in reality. In other words, 
Fiction is built from combinations of reality. So what I saw in Somnium earlier... Yes. I believe Iris actually witnessed those events. Are all memories real, or is she crazy Peter, from her tumor? You said that memories happen in reality, right? But what about false memories? How do we know if the memory really happened? Even false memories are built from the pieces of real ones. If you disassemble those pieces, you will find real events. What about things you see in movies or television? The events might be fictional, but the experience is not. Our imaginations are limited to what we have seen. We cannot invent something whole cloth. The fuck I can't. Computer doesn't know about how writing novels works. Didn't I tell you? The entire case is a state secret. No matter how many times you ask, I won't tell you anything. Tell me. The Cyclops killer appeared six years ago. I lost my memory six years ago. There has to be some kind of connection. There isn't. It's a coincidence. No, it's not. That kind of coincidence really? does not happen. Really? The blue figure in the sink. Help me understand you? this. What I saw during the sink earlier, that was the scene of the original Cyclops serial killings, right? Yeah. So the person doing the killing was the original Cyclops killer. Right. Did you see him? He was... Me. I saw... your face. Yeah. The original Cyclops killer was... It can't be. That's impossible. Date, you cannot say that for certain. You have no memories past six years ago. So perhaps, Mr. Date, you are the killer. You're missing your left eye. So you steal them from others. I'm kidding. You can't be the Cyclops killer. Why can't I? Really? Of course not. Do you think I would hire a serial killer? You would if you didn't know I was a serial you killer. You interrogated Iris before the sink. What you saw in the Somnium was just a manifestation of the fear you put in her. Uh, I don't think that's likely. Then why did he appear in her Somnium, eh? You can't dream of something you know nothing about. That's not true. That means Iris must know about the killings. Six years ago, Iris was 12. Did she witness the crime at age 12? And not just one, but all four? Hmm. Hmm. I'm beginning to think her uncle slash father figure is the Cyclops killer OG. I didn't learn anything from speaking with Boston Peter. They're fucking dumb. If anything, the mystery only grew deeper because they're fucking dumb. Peter shook me from my thoughts. Dante. It looks like Iris mm. is about to wake up. Got it. I headed to the sink room. Date. Special Agent Date. Date. Wake up. Hey, Iris. About that dream earlier. What dream? I didn't dream nothing, you dream? dumbass. Dream? What dream? There is no point in asking her, Date. The subject of a sink does not experience Somnium in the way that you do. They will not remember it. And what about the Cyclops killer from six years ago? Cyclops killer? I remember hearing it on the news, but I was just a little girl. I don't remember anything specific. But you, you were don't? there. You saw no. them. What about the scene of the murder? I don't know. I've never been there. But... That was all just implanted by, in my brain by Nazitlaz. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. You can't dream of something you know nothing about. That, again, is a lie. I've, I've dreamt I was flying a fucking space shuttle. I don't, I don't know anything about fucking aerospace engineering. 
Date, could you take Iris home? Huh? We do not have enough evidence to hold her. Even in Somnium, we couldn't find anything. The law demands that we release her. I don't give a shit what the law demands. You cannot decline, Date. Watch me, Iba. Watch me. Pop out of your pop out of my eye socket and look at me not lend look at me declining. You're like staring at me so much, Iba. Stare at me not taking Iris home. Stare at me not releasing her. Date, could we make a stop first? Nope, criminals don't get to make requests. Sure. Where? Marble. It's a bar in Golden Yokocho. You know about that place? Yeah, Mr. Okiura took me before. Why do you want to go there? There's something I want to talk about. We can't talk here? No. It might take a while. And I need a drink. A stiff one. What do you think? And so there's does no Mama. To refuse. <laughs> Besides, there's a lot I want to ask her too. All right, sure. Iris nodded and pulled out her phone. Is she sending a Nile message to someone? I was curious, but I didn't want to pry. I turned the wheel and drove to Marble. Zoom, zoom. To Golden Yoko Cho, we Yoko go. You ready to crack this case and solve the murders? Yeah. Are you sure? When we walked in, I yeah. didn't see Mama anywhere. To my surprise, I saw Ota sitting at the counter. Tessa! Oh, Ota! I come here to drink a lot. I have no friends. I am Ota. There's a poster on the wall. Oh, we don't get to see the amazing dicking down of Mr. Coxworth. Or whatever gay porn mama was hanging flyers for. Nobody cares about the alcohol. Uh, that stupid bonito fish. The bar counter. I never thought I'd run into oh. you here. I was niling with Tessa earlier. That's just say texting you, loser. She said she was going to Marble, so I, I got here just before you did. She said she was going to Marble, so I came here to stalk her. Look, I was really worried about her. Yeah. She was about to be charged with a serious crime. Yeah. Isn't your phone broken, homie? No, this is my new one. You're thinking of the one I dropped in that puddle. Yeah, huh? Where's Mama? What'd you do to Mama? Oh, she left a little while ago. I just left you in here with all the booze. She said something about going to help an acquaintance? With what? She told me to watch the place until she got back. How well do you know Mama? Not at all. It's my first time here. I wasn't particularly surprised. Mama's always depended on the kindness of strangers. Ever since she opened Marble. What was that thing about? This actually works out nicely. I want to ask you something, Ota. It's about a Nile message you sent Iris. You said you wouldn't tell anyone about that thing. That you'd stay quiet no matter what. Is it about her driving the car? What were you talking about? Well, uh... I'll tell her about the two-witter thing. I swear I'll do it. Geez, fine! Just don't tell anyone else, okay? But... Before I tell you, who's that? Oh no. Come on, Date, don't fall for the oldest trick in the book and get hit over the head with a fucking bottle. What? I... The door. Someone's standing outside. Date, don't get hit over the head with a bottle. Please. Please, Date. That's not any fucking better. Aye, they suck. Oh shit, and Iba can't even record this time because the fucking static electricity shut her down. The voltage shut her down, so she can't even look at what yeah. happened. <sighs> Oldest trick in the fucking book, Date, and you fell for it. Again! God damn, why are you such a terrible detective and officer of the MPD abyss? I think you should fucking open up that sober restaurant. When I woke up, I was lying on the sofa. Where am I? My head was killing me and my memory was foggy. I felt the sudden pain in my neck.
I shot up, rubbing my neck. When I looked over the counter, I saw a monster staring back at me. What did she do to me in my sleep? It took me a few seconds before I realized it was just Mama. It looks like you're awake now. As Mama spoke to me, it all came rushing back. I remembered everything. That little asshole tased me. What the hell time is it, Mama? It'll be three o'clock soon. In the morning, of course. Why didn't you wake me up? I tried. You wouldn't budge. I thought you were passed out drunk, so I left you like that. That's but not... I didn't have a glass in front of me, right? So you weren't drunk? Didn't have a single drop. No, oh, I thought you were drinking straight out of the bottle. Just like the old days. Where's Ota and that little bitch? Ota? The boy I asked to watch the bar? I'd say he's too old to be called a boy, but yeah. He was already gone when I came back. All I saw was you getting your beauty sleep on the floor. That little shit tased Damn me. Damn it, Ota. What are you thinking? It appears that he took off with Iris. What were you doing during all this? My power was shut down due to the stun gun. I have rebooted in safe mode and am now operational. So we won't even get any evidence out of this one. Nope. Dang. Date, the boss is calling. Oh, how am I going to report this one? Date, listen. Stay calm, but this is an emergency. Just now, the killer... Well, just watch the video. Alright, so what do you think's going on? and What do you think's going to happen here? So, in the previous route, it was a polar bear and the ice cutter. You think it's going to be the same method? Mm, maybe. I want to say no. I sent the address to Iba. Oh. Oh. Huh. That is actually strange. Polar bear. Iris. Please at least make it a fucking grizzly bear. No, that's... The criminal is streaming this live. Iba, the source. Identified. The Okiura Fishery Cold Story... Okiura? Date, focus. We need to get to the site. I thanked Mama and ran out of marble. So we're not going to have any extra evidence on how this one played out. Nope. What's our ETA? But this might be interesting because now Mayumi won't have followed them. That is also and true. And then we won't have a confession from her, which means I don't think we'll have any reason to go to Sosajima's residence and find him fucking butchered up in the vase. Our destination is far from here. Plus, uh, so there could be, there could be two ways this could go. There, there could still be the two cars there. The van that Ota took to the bar that he stopped off at the um, convenience store for to steal the station wagon. Right. The please, please let me make it in time. Go faster than the fastest. Probably shouldn't be watching that. That sick bastard. Probably shouldn't be watching that while you're driving. Hmm. 
I kept my foot on the gas the whole time. I could feel the sweat on my palms. The engine raised a high-pitched scream, but I could barely hear it. Heartbeat was pounding in my ears, shaking me to the core. How much time had passed. The feeling of time itself had disappeared. Eventually, the car reached a long bridge. Shortly after, the image changed. Mom's spaghetti. Wait, what? This is new. No, it can't be. This is new. The pol no. the polar bear never turned the machine back on in the other route. Stop. Oh gosh. No. Oh. oh. Well, we don't save her in this route. This is new. Oh. Damn. So, that's how this route changes. No! All because Ota fucking tased us. Yep. I feel like we're gonna have we're gonna discover a second body here. I I feel like Ota's dead too. Wait, what? What the hot what? Huh? What the what? How? It's Ota. Ah, I knew it. Fucking what is going on in this fucking Ota. But we saw Iris get. I don't understand. I might partially understand. So after Iris got the got, if depending on what happened to Ota off screen, the polar bear could have like forced the costume on him and then forced him onto the ice cutting machine next. He could have taken Iris's body with him, put the costume on Ota and then put him on the ice cutting machine and have that happen too. That is true. So hmm. that's my possible theory. Yeah, this, this route is much darker. There you are. Finally. I was looking all over for like you. Like, way darker. Could not save Iris. It's rare to see you down like this. Yeah, well, it's also rare to have seen a murder happen live as a cop. But it's understandable. Not you to mention, for this, he was also you? driving... Beating yourself up about taking Iris to marble, and about letting Ota get the upper hand on you. Am I right? Shall I tell you what Investigation HQ thinks? Nope. Ota Matsushita is a criminal stalker who committed murder-suicide. Yeah? Ota yeah. had a selfish love for Iris. Yeah, yeah, what? He did. He was under the delusion that Iris loved him too. But Iris refused Ota. So Ota decided that he and Iris should be together in the afterlife, killed her, then killed himself. No, that don't add up. You wanna know why that don't add up? Why? Where's the Iris's body? Mm. 
that don't add up. If that was the case, I highly doubt he would hide Iris's body and then kill himself. He'd want both their bodies to be next to each other. Hmm. That's ridiculous. Oto would never kill Iris. Yeah, no, I don't add up, Date. I'm saying. And how do you explain the other two murders? Iris's left eye was hollowed out. Just like Renju and Shoko. Those three murders were definitely executed by the same person. The new Cyclops killer. There's no way that's Ota. Too many pieces don't fit. Too many contradictions. Like killing Iris. Such as? Ota had no incentive to kill Renju. I mean, Maybe he, he was thinking like this. I mean... He does have incentive to kill Renju. If Renju's out of the picture... Iris and Ota could spend more time together. The reason Iris and I can't be together is because her agency prohibits it. Yep, told you. Making the president, Renju, the ultimate bad guy in his mind. Mizuki is Ota's close friend. Do you really think Ota would kill his friend's father? He had no incentive to kill Shoko. Shoko was married to Renju. Do it to get back to Renju. Maybe he was trying to get at Renju by killing her. That's a stretch. That is a stretch because... He didn't even know Shoko was his ex-wife until after she was already dead. They've been divorced for years. Ota knows all about it. He wouldn't use Shoko to get to Renju. You know, boss, you're awfully keen on trying to make Ota the villain here. Any particular reason why you want to make him the villain and just shut the case? You seem awfully uh, sure of yourself here, boss. What about his behavior during the video? Can you explain that, chief? Stay away from Tessa! I mean, that's easy to Ota explain. showed himself on the stream. If he was going to kill Iris and then himself, why would he do that? Because it wouldn't matter. The only reason you would show yourself like that is to prove that you weren't the culprit. I mean, if he's going to kill himself, who cares if he's the culprit or not? Ota and the polar bear that on the screen at the true. same time would hmm. prove that they're not the same person. But they weren't on the screen at the same time, Dad. That behavior would be totally unnecessary if he was going to commit suicide anyway. Well, maybe he wasn't planning on dying at first. After he killed Iris, he realized that he couldn't live with himself. But that... So he lies down on the workbench and turns on the ice-cutting machine himself? But that completely contradicts what you literally just said a moment ago, boss, where he murders suicide to already to be together in death forever. If he intended to kill Iris and then all of a sudden decided he couldn't live with what he did and then killed himself, that contradicts your initial theory of a, being a murder-suicide out of stalker love. I don't buy it. Come on, boss. You're supposed to be my superior, but you're acting like a scrub. The culprit was wearing a polar bear costume, probably to hide their identity. But if murder-suicide was the plan, the costume served no purpose. True that. There are some additional discrepancies. I analyzed the investigation report. Judging by his wound, Ota was stabbed in the side by a kitchen knife or something similar. Are you sure? I am. I told the boss what I have found. Oh, I wouldn't have done that yet. Oh, I know that. Then shut your mouth, Well. Boss. Ota could have stabbed himself. Why would he stab himself and cause himself more pain and make it harder for him to kill himself if murder-suicide was the plan? Maybe he thought it would be a fatal wound, but when it yeah, didn't work, he went for the ice-cutting machine. He's not a he's not an idiot stabbing himself in the gut to kill himself. He's not stupid. He would go for the throat. Then shouldn't we have recovered the kitchen knife from the scene? Maybe he threw it in the ocean. Boss, come on. Ota goes out to the water. Stabs himself in the gut, throws the knife over the side, then walks back to the warehouse? Come on, boss. You're stretching all of it. Well, I wasn't being serious. You're stretching more than Monkey D. Luffy. I didn't think Oda was the culprit from the beginning. Then don't say it, you dummy. I was just playing devil's advocate for HQ. Really? Yes, really. Hmm. I don't buy it. Anyway, Ota didn't buy it kill either. anyone. He don't either. Kill himself. Here's what I think happened. Away from Tessa! Ota knew Iris was kidnapped, so he rushed onto the scene. 
That's when he saw the culprit wearing the polar bear costume. He tried to fight him off, but ended up being stabbed in the side. He was weakened and losing blood at the culprit's mercy. The culprit forced him into the costume, then under the ice cutting machine. Exactly like I thought. And then... Exactly like I thought happened. Give me my high five. High five. Yeah. You're fine. Yeah, exactly like I said it happened. Then... Who is the culprit? I want to say Sosajima again. I wish I knew. We're up to four victims, but Ota was a special circumstance. He wasn't specifically targeted by the culprit. Right. And he was the only one to not have his eye pulled out. So let's focus on the three other victims. Shoko, Renju, and Iris. What connects these three? Shit. You know what connects those three? What? Iris's mother. Ah. Iris's mother went to school with Renju. She's Mizuki's homeroom teacher. And yep. obviously, she since she's Mizuki's homeroom teacher, she has to have some connection to Shoko as well. It couldn't be yep. it couldn't be Mizuki because Mizuki has a connection to Ota. And it couldn't be... And Hitomi actually does not have a connection to Ota. So I'm saying Iris' mother is what connects Connections. Them. If you find a connection between the victims, you find a connection to the culprit. That's the theory of investigation, right? You think the new Cyclops killer is related to them somehow? I do. Maybe, maybe not. But it's a good starting point. So, obviously it's Iris' mother, but I just kind of find it funny that they added in the joke answer of Momo, Momo Kumakura. We know he would, uh -oh. do, we know he wouldn't hurt Tessa. It's, it's Hitomi. Yeah. It's, it's Hitomi. Hitomi and Renju are definitely linked. They were high school classmates, and she did say that she met Shoko twice, but I can't imagine she would kill Iris in such a gruesome way. No matter what the circumstances were, it seems impossible to me. Like, I don't think any of these are going to be the right answer then. Like, I don't think Ota's mother has any connection to Renju and Shoko, but I'll try it. Mayumi had motive for killing Iris and Renju. Mayumi hated Iris, and she didn't think well of Lemnus Gate either. And since Renju is the president... Anyway, the weak point is Renju's ex-wife, Shoko. I can't imagine why Mayumi would kill her. And above all else, she would never harm her only son, let alone kill him. Yep. Momo wouldn't yeah. do it. He's a huge ASAT fan, so let's Renju just get this out of the way. Renju and Shoko were connected to the Kumakuras. But Iris wasn't, in but a bad way. there's no connection to Iris. Oh, now it's gonna let me choose Congressman Sosajima. But what connection to Iris would he have? Um, we don't know, but we do know that because wasn't it she was the one that was well? Was I, she driving for Renju or was she driving for Sosajima? She was driving Renju's car for him. She was driving Renju's um, car. The only possible connection, like we we have, and I the freaking, I think we're actually allowed to go further in this route because of something we learned in a previous route that we that somebody saw so Sajima walking with Iris's mother at some oh, point yeah, right. for some reason so I think we're allowed to continue on this route because now we know that Congressman so Sajima does technically have a connection to Iris albeit through her mother so I feel like the reason this route wasn't locked at this point when we got to the um the warehouse where it says the case remained unsolved is now we have the connection right. here renju shoko and so there is a connection between renju and shoko through the kumakuras but again i can't see any clear link to iris
Wait, what? Then me? What? I know Renju and Shoko, and I'm connected to Iris, but I have an alibi. Aside from Shoko, there's no way I could have killed any of them. No. Now that I think about it, Shoko too. I don't remember killing her. My memories from six years ago are missing, but I still have my memory of recent events. And if I start doubting myself now... Date, I can say without a doubt that there is zero possibility you are the new Cyclops killer. Oh. I have been working with you for years. I know better than anyone that you are innocent. I have everything recorded that you do. Why are you going to make me choose Mizuki? Mizuki has the strongest connections with all three victims. Shoko and Renji were her parents, and she was close friends with Iris. She was good friends with Ota, too. But that's why I could never believe Mizuki would kill all four of them. Not to say I couldn't believe she couldn't kill all four of them. Thinking of her as a suspect is ridiculous. Then wait, like, we have all the connections. I thought it over, boss. Of the people I know, I can't peg any of them as the murderer. And no leads to pursue? No. Then there's only one thing you can do. Continue your investigation. Do whatever it takes to get the culprit. To get justice for the victims. You're right. Got it, boss. Alright. We're gonna go investigate the investigate next time. Yep. Peace out. Peace soup. <laughs>